So if you're new to the channel, my name's Rex and we are in Max's. Toyota Corolla. And you might be like, Rex, why the hell are you reviewing a Toyota Corolla? I mean, come on, it's a Toyota Corolla. You know what? It's just a, a normal average car that you see everywhere. But no, this is a Sportivo BBTL Toyota Corolla. And this thing revs to 8200 RPM. It's actually crazy. Like it, it shocked me when we when we talk, took this first thing in for a drive. It's got a pretty much like a piggyback tune. You pretty much can read what the engine's doing. It's got like a whole like gauge up here telling you, you know, airflow, water temp, everything. And it also allows him to change the uh, max rev limit on the car. So right now he's running at a safe 8200, but if he wanted to, he could put it up. I think the best thing that I can compare this to is definitely the Integra Type R. As soon as it hits what 6,000 the VBTL um, comes on so when you hit when you hit 6,000 rpm you get 40 extra kilowatts and it's actually like crazy the changeover is it's insane Shocking. I was not expecting this at all especially coming from I mean we're talking a Toyota Corolla come on a Corolla <laughs> so some of the cosmetic stuff that Max has done and he has done most of this stuff himself with the help of one of his mates I think his name's Edward yep um, I guess shout out to him <laughs> so some of the cosmetic stuff he's just recently got his wheels professionally painted originally when I saw this car so I've actually known Max for I don't know, around a couple months or so. And he had these silver rims on. Now he's got them painted black and they look really nice. Goes with the whole body of the car. The, the uh, side skirts and front bumper lip kind of stuff is actually stock, comes stock with the Corolla Sportivo, which is pretty surprising. Like it's pretty aggressive for a stock Corolla, you know, like you don't expect that kind of stuff from Toyota. But another really cool thing is that this shifter that Max has put in is really short. It's a short shifter, short throw shifter. Really nice. I like, I personally prefer like a notchy kind of shifter. And this is definitely, definitely nice and notchy. It's a six speed, four cylinder, 1.8 liter. And it doesn't make sense that all this power is coming out of 1.8 liter. And it's all obviously to the front wheels, like it is a Corolla. But that is not a problem as I've said in the previous car review. Having a front wheel drive is, I feel like it's a little bit more safe. It keeps you, you know, from sliding out, going into a wall. I mean, that's if you're a shitty driver, but <laughs> definitely like um, more predictable when you're going around corners. very good but he does plan to upgrade it and get some better sound get some more sound come on valve lift valve lift six thousand so max has also got some pedis springs which do actually a really good job of keeping the car pretty planted you do notice some body roll but it's nothing major i mean it is a toyota corolla but he does want to upgrade possibly to some coilovers, which definitely would be, you know, a good upgrade, but this is his daily car. I mean, he drives this car to work. He drives this car to school. I mean, obviously you don't want anything crazy when you're upgrading suspension on your daily driven car. Now he's also got the classic one race seat in his car. So the driver's seat, of course, is, is oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, the driver's seat, of course, is the race seat. 
and it's doing a very good job. So it's actually a rep seat, but so the reason for running a rep seat is that it is a Corolla and he doesn't want to go too crazy on it, don't want to spend too much money on a Corolla because he does want to actually put the money possibly into like a supercharger, turbocharger. He doesn't know yet, but he also could be saving for a brand new car. This car is very surprising. It's a Corolla and I'm going to keep saying that because it's shocking. Like, like this car should be this quick. It just doesn't make any sense. A 1.8 litre should not be going this quick. So this car is far from stock. He's actually gone ahead and ported the headers. So his friend Edward, of course, which has done all the performance modifications, he's got, he's got the intake ported. Oh. And because pretty much on these cars, for whatever reason, Toyota decided to make the actual pipe bigger than the hole. So there's actually a lot of room where you can you know, Dremel out, or not really Dremel out, get it machined out. And that's what, of course, Max has gone ahead and done. And it just pretty much means there's more air going through the car. And yeah, that's why this car, it's just, it makes it even more aggressive. Brakes work. This Corolla was a crazy car to drive. It actually took me by surprise when the changeover happens. It's like at 6,000 RPM and just goes crazy. It's a whole different car. But yeah, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Max, of course, for letting me drive this car. Crazy car. I'll give a shout out to Edward. Oh, yes. Edward too. And then my dad, of course. But my dad probably won't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet, awesome. Hey everyone, back again here concluding the video. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Max for letting me drive his car. And as I said multiple times in the video, it did completely shock me that a Corolla was capable of making this kind of power, this kind of noise. Who knew a Corolla could be that fun? I mean, we're talking about a Toyota Corolla. This is this is a car that no one expects to be a good car, like as in like a good sports car, you know what I mean? I'd also just like to remind everyone, if you want your car reviewed, make sure you message me on Instagram. I am only reviewing modified cars so if your car has had some extensive work done to it please hit me up at rex underscore hyt again massive thank you to max for letting me drive his car and hopefully we can see more people in the reviews catch you guys next time <laughs>